It's a huge problem. Tens of thousands of children crossing the border and entering the U.S. illegally. The Department of Health and Human Services is running out of space to house them. So now they are turning to New Mexico. Today we confirm that droves of undocumented immigrants, many of them children, will soon be sent to our state. So who's taking on the massive task to take care of them and who will pay for it? News 13's Cole Miller is live in the Newsplex with the details. Yeah, Crystal, we've learned the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Artesia will soon house hundreds of those families as they await deportation. And one state congressman says it's an operation that could last for more than a year. A humanitarian crisis is developing along the borders. And now that crisis, according to Congressman Steve Pierce, is spilling into New Mexico. It's pretty sudden. Uh, it's just an indication of sort of the haphazard nature of, of what's going on. He's talking about a surge of illegal immigrants being detained at the border. That's not what's sudden. What's sudden is the fact that the feds will soon be moving men, women, and children to the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Artesia. It would be sooner rather than later. In other words, uh, weeks, not months, and maybe days, not weeks. The Department of Homeland Security says many are coming from Central America with false promises of citizenship. Many are unaccompanied children, but in Artesia, the center will only take families and they're preparing to take on a lot of them. It appears that they have the intent to send about 700 families, 700 men and women. Pierce says Border Patrol officers and facilities are simply overwhelmed. They're really in a bind. In Artesia, Pierce says the families will be held on the edge of town, away from the training center's main campus. Not much chance to mix with the local population, not much chance of, of any danger to anyone. The representative says he's been told everyone who stops through will be deported back to their home country. He says that should take about a week to 10 days per person, and they would continue cycling families through for about a year. And the feds will run the operation out of Artesia. It's unclear what the cost will be. Pierce says this news comes suddenly. He would have liked a bit more notice. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Cole. Harris, along with both of the state's U.S. senators, say politics have got to be put aside so that the problems along the border can be fixed once and for all.